they're doing it. Here we go. There we go. Welcome to a beautiful day at Asbestos Stadium. We've got a great match. We're playing ball. Here we go against the Yellows versus the Blues. Now, Robbie Wood, great oh. one. Oh, my goodness. Oh, man. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh. Boy, he needed that hit. Here comes the pitcher. <laughs> this, uh, this is so much faster than normal <laughs> baseball games. Yeah. My goodness. Yeah, well, they, they, I think they put something in the water. It's got to be crystal meth because I've, boy, I've not slept in 45 hours. But that's okay. We're doing it. Boy, we are really cranking out one of these games. That's right. You took a swig of the power raid earlier, and and man, you immediately started calling hookers. Immediately, <laughs> you're you're vibrating as we speak. So we've we got change here. <laughs> Walston, boy, they are just anything crossing the plate. They're going to swing at it. I know their their batting coaches really wanted them to take a more aggressive approach. This seems a bit overdone, but oh, a little pop up. There we go. And it's oh goodness gracious, things are going so fast. No one has scored. And that is the change-up. That's the change-up. And we're changing, and, and happy Pride Month, everybody. Look at him. Go, go. And here we go. All right, so. Very diverse. So, Schmicky walking. Scrikes one out. This one is oh, gone. Oh, Schmilky. It has left the stadium. Schmilky. We haven't seen a performance like this out of Schmilky since the, the, the Helsinki 1973, and I think we all know how that went. Oh, yeah. Well, thank God that murder charge got dropped. Now, here comes the pitch. We've got another one there, just, again, swinging at anything. I think there was a bird flew through the batting practice, and they took some whips at that. There was a double strike yep. somehow. Thank God the umpire missed that one. And here we go. There's another crank out to left field. That's an out. We're switching up. All right, here comes Jensen Schmuschminson. And that's a Jensen. long, slow one, really taking oh. its time. Classic Schmosensen. Classic. Yeah, he's he's in a slump right now. He's he's over fifty five. Now I asked him about that slump. He did not want to comment. In fact, he flew into a blind rage. I barely got out of the locker room. But uh, I'm going to call him in a slump now. A yeah, probably ball. from all the crystal meth he's clearly been doing. He's ground his teeth down to nubs. Uh, but thank God he, he he's got a really good defense. They really need him out there in left field. All right. What is this? Second inning? What is going on? I know uh, the time is a flat circle here, and we've got an out. <laughs> it's, we're moving so fast, I can't even see the stats. Yes. Oh, that uh, was a, the, a rare double strike. The old yeah. adage of throwing a baseball out of a car traveling the speed of light has actually happened here today. Einstein has come out of a wormhole. Uh, it's, <laughs> it's a relativity wormhole. They are, they are entertaining the crown and proving general relativity correct. That's a two-for-one, folks. You don't get that in anywhere but Asbestos Stadium. And speaking of Asbestos Stadium, there is the blank! Oh, oh it's at the wall. Okay. It bounced off the wall. It's at the wall. Smitty oh. Jorgensen throwing it in. There we go. So we got a runner at first. Smitty. I'm surprised he only got the first on that one. That one should, probably should have been a little double, but... You know, and do the de-aged Albert Einstein oh. has taken the plate. He is playing <laughs> baseball now. Time has now flown backwards. <laughs> yeah. Albert's got to really... That's... He's got to really pull the ball if he wants to. Oh. Oh, he's, he's eating the chicken. Here we go. Albert outside with his crazy general relativity powers. That's nine strikes he's made. I think he's broke the bat in half. And the feather ball... has ball. turned into a leaf. The feather ball, yes. <laughs> At 35 miles per hour, boy. And here comes the turbo Einstein cranking it. Oh, a what? feather ball. Boy, that was a real it's turn to place. Into... Boy, the meth is really starting to affect us out here in the <laughs> announcement the, booth. Uh, the, there's so much crystal meth on the field, it is rending the fabric of reality. Uh, <laughs> but, I mean, we're seeing some great baseball here, folks. And really some good effort from the team. Oh, my God. Go. I, I'm beginning to smell color. I'm beginning... <laughs> oh, yes, you my hand is clearly a sandalwood. Oh, you smell uh, the red, too? Yeah. Yeah, I thought that was me, but I guess something's going around. And speaking of going around, that is a nice 6-3 play to end the inning. Here we go. Yes. I believe that's what refers is what referred to as ducks on a pond. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure, Jeff. The the ducks are trying to bury themselves. Oh, we've got another super play. Here we go. Here it is. The feather ball, and that's one, oh, two. The, the catcher the shaking with fear. Kuklinski's <laughs> working on that pitch for years now. He really worked it up in the minor leagues. You'd think a 38-mile-an-hour ball would be easy to hit. And it isn't. He really fed the ball one time. That's going to be in the corner. That's going to get past the left fielder. 
The right defender fielder. gently drifted into the catcher's hands, just lovingly, tenderly. I've I've never seen a more loving, caring pitch. Let's see that again. There's another Federer, and that's one. That's two. That's three. Three <laughs> strikes in one. They only get to count for one, and that's going to just gently get into the catcher's bit. Any oh, yes. Out. There we go. Boy, he's what really working that feather ball. Now the Thundercracker. Oh! He hit the oh Thundercracker. Oh, my God. Look at the run go. <laughs> Rending space time in two with all of the cocaine he's had. Looks like, oh, and multiple man was not able to make <laughs> yeah. it to first. Now, you know, whenever you multiply yourself and run to first and get out, that's three outs. That's why we changed. Oh. And the lawyer has come out. She is going to object to that play, but she doesn't really have any grounds to stand on. I guess she does. She has called for a next a move trial, so we are going to the next game. Uh, so game. it was two to one here in the special stadium. Boy, I tell you, I could just see the horror behind the veil of reality. I've got so much meth in me. But uh, like I said, I haven't slept in 45 hours, so I think I'm probably going to collapse in a moment. Uh, Josh... Josh, my co-host Josh, whose name is actually Josh. He is uh, drinking turpentine now. I think he's doing anything to try to calm him down. How you doing over there, Josh? Well, uh, I just sniffed the turpentine. I was going to consume it, but the Lovecraftian demons were yelling at me to sniff it, so that's what I did. Uh, you gotta get a whiff of that. Gonna hit play. Whiff of that sniff. Well, it smells like the color green. Uh, uh I, I, as, after sniffing the turpentine, it looks like the stadium is changing form before my eyes. <laughs> uh, we are being magically teleported to the harbor. Uh, I, I am going to demand that the players play, uh, for my entertainment. For my entertainment, Jeff. Um, and... Yeah. There they go. I'm no longer in control of anything, uh, much less my own life. Uh, my control of my own life, as well as all of our lives, is but an illusion. <laughs> it's Back a, to you, Jeff. Boy, I tell you, that is that is some nothing but truth coming out of there. There it comes. And there, oh, that's a bad throw. Back to second. The rare nine six play that doesn't go recorded out. Here we go. Oh, oh, we got, the, I, oh believe, I believe that was Rudder's interference, although he's not been called that. The stutter step out there from center field is going to throw it, and we've got runners at the corners to start this game. His pitcher is in a bad position. Let's you referred to it as out. a 6-9 play earlier. Uh, I'm pretty sure you said 6-9. So, I did. Nice. So here we go. <laughs> Much to the delight of all the players and the fans. Every 13-year-old snickered in the stadium. That's what it was, though. I mean, I'd call it like I see him. And here's a little no. bloop out to left field. Can he get to it? Yes, he can. Bloop. I believe that is another I, blooping. It goes well with the 6-9 play, I believe. I'm, I'm, I'm very confused. I could have sworn there were two outs, and now there's one. That's probably just me. I, I don't know. And that's oh, I ball. think this one's coming straight to us. That one actually made it into the announcing table. <laughs> yeah. It took out Jeffrey back there. Jeffrey, you doing okay? <laughs> the other well, Jeff. He's uh, not... Yeah, well, the bad Jeff. We don't like. We don't really like Jeff, so we're not going to check on him. We're just going to let him ride there on the floor from the ball. I actually spat in Jeff's coffee earlier this morning. <laughs> He's trying. We're trying to get him fired. Uh, management. He was watching me. He watched me do it. Well, so there we go between the bow and the two. A scrappy that's game. Oh, that's a submarine pitch, uh, but it's a foul ball. You'll note the delivery on the pitcher, throwing it way below his knee somehow. And that ball it looks like it's got the mustard for it. That's a home run. Oh, my oh, yeah. God. Oh, it didn't just have the mustard. It had the ketchup. It had the relish. <laughs> it had the onions. It is out of the park. Boy, I could sure go not for a hot dog. They, I choked on one last year. I could never eat it again. I could really go, I'll tell you, for some mustard and ketchup and relish on some spaghetti. Classic oh. ballpark food. Chicago ketchup. style. Chicago style spaghetti. Oh, Am I right? right? Yeah. They got it down on 5th Street. It's very good. Uh, and that's a strike. It's The ball bounced in the dirt somehow with a patented bounce ricochet strike. The, the ricochet no. strike, that's right. <laughs> See, the second baseman avoiding the ball as if it were a spider. All of the fieldsmen moving in sync <laughs> together. <laughs> I was just, just about to say, the coordination and training for all of them to move as one hive mind. Boy, uh, they can't get the ball, but their movement is grace on the field, I tell you. The Emerald Cthulhu. Diamond before us. 
Yeah. Cthulhu is looking down into the stadium, controlling all of us as puppets. <laughs> so I was going to say puppets. You beat me to it. I'm so sorry. It's it's because we have the hive mind, but the Cthulhu hive mind has, has entered the commentator booth as well. <laughs> We are Legion, here we go, and it is 0-2, and we are going to top of the second. Yes, again, control over our own lives is but an illusion. Here we go, he's going, yeet, all right, that's a good, oh! Oh, Right no. to the left fielder, played that one perfectly. Didn't even have to move. Seven Aussie has stepped up. I just realized all the players have names that are displayed on the screen. Better. <laughs> I can't be bothered with names. The action is happening <laughs> way too fast. There we go. That's a now. That's a change. And we go, go. Bottom of the second, That's going to two. Cthulhu is now on the field, leading everyone in a cheer with pom poms. He's so delightful. Once you get to know him, really, when the horror fades, once you really <laughs> get to know him on a first name basis. Really, the heart of the team, if I were being honest, like they wanted to trade him last year. That was shot down mainly because he made them all go insane. But I'm glad they didn't trade him because he's really brought energy to this clubhouse that they really needed. And the crystal meth. I, I have received word that he is responsible for all the crystal meth going around right now. <laughs> There's a fact. I, I see a man walking through the stands. I don't know why I said man like a British man, but uh, yes, I, I see. I see the, the the guy walking through the stage. He, I hear him now. Crystal meth. Crystal meth for sale. <laughs> Dollar for crystal math. Would you like some crystal math? The crystal, oh. oh, that is delightful. Up oh, here, sir. Save some for me. Yeah, he hucks them like peanuts. You gotta watch where he throws them. Speaking of throwing, we've got to play. Little D coming right to second base. We are changing. All right. So the bows cannot break through. Excuse they me. There's no chance to break through. Apparently, the pitcher laughing at the bows. That's not going to come back well. And that's oh, an out. Oh dear. Still laughing at him. Boy, that's you know. It's gonna watch out. They're gonna. Charge the mound on that one. That one's an out. They are. Can we get the one, two, three inning? Here comes Harold with the pitch. That is three oh, strikes in a row. And, and a hit after three strikes. <laughs> you know, go. everyone gets one. Everyone gets one extra. <laughs> well, that should do it. All right. So the two win. Game. Yep. So. Marshall the lawyer coming back out to officially sanction this game as a win for the twos, and there's the sanction. Very good. All right. Okay. Well, and uh, the gavel has been has been thrown. Thrown. Well, uh, I don't I don't know anything about baseball. I don't know who hired me. <laughs> yeah, I I don't know anything about lawyering. I, I can tell you a lot about baseball, but I'm pretty sure they throw the gavels. That's the thing that they do. We want to thank you coming out to this best of stadium today for joining us for the bow versus the two. And apparently there was another fever dream of a game that happened before that. I can't remember it because all of the crystal meth we're doing. So thank you for my co-host, Josh. I am Jeff. We will join you next time out here on the Riff Arcade Sports Network. Gotta get some more of that crystal meth. I'm, oh, I'm coming down. Oh, oh, I don't want to come down. Right up here. Throw me a couple bags. Oh. <laughs>